today we are going to discuss dispersal of seeds as you now understood that how seeds are germinating you have to consider one thing more that if all the seeds fall on the ground near the parent plant they will not get enough food water and sunlight to grow for this we have to know that what is dispersal the carrying away of roots and seeds to distant places from their mother plants is known as dispersal to ensure dispersal seeds and roots of many plants have developed special features you have to opt these special features for germinating new new plants so for this you have to know that what are the special features that we call as agents of dispersal so we will discuss that what are the agents of dispersion you can see that forces of nature like wind water and animals that help in dispersion are known as agents of dispersion so you have to consider that the features like that we previously called the special features or you can say the agents of dispersion are wind water animals and sometimes itself the plant itself just generate germinate new plants so you can say that these are the agents of dispersion so we will discuss one by one these agents that how plants are germinating by water wind or through animals or through itself so we will discuss these agents one by one so first of all what are the agents you have to remind in your in your good books that wind water animals are the specific agents of dispersion they are by nature like naturally they help in dispersion so that's how a plant can grow and we have to disperse these different seeds or fruits at distant places so that they can get favorable conditions to grow into new plant so for this you have to remember again that these are the wind water and animals are the specific agents of dispersion make sure that you have to remind these three agents that whenever if i'm asking you that what are the agents of dispersion you must be able to see to answer that there are three agents that is wind that is water and the third one is animal so one by one we will see that how wind is act as an agent how water act an agent and how animals acts as an agent so we will see that how wind act as an agent so here you can see here you have a picture you can see here it's here i given some example that these seeds maple seed they have just wings or they are light and weight so they can carry by wind and dispersed in air or somewhere so they germinate into new plant so they they have some hairs and they are light in weight so the next one is dispersion by water so you can see here here i have pictured some coconut trees that are generally found near sea coasts the coconut fruits have a hard but light and waterproof covering which enables them to float in water the waves carry the fruits and deposit them on the shores of far off lands so that's how they are dispersed by water and germinate into new plants so the next one is dispersion by animals you can see here i have pictured some some seeds have uh, some seeds have hooks or spikes which stick to the body of animals and get carried away the fruits of cockerel have hooked tips that stick to animal fur and get deposited at a distance many fruits are tasty to eat human beings and animals eat the freshly parts of the these fruits and throw away the seeds on the ground so that's how they are just uh, dispersed so you can see here self dispersion some fruits like the pea disperse by exploding the pods containing the seed burst open when they are dry and these seeds scatter around so you are now able to explain that what are the dispersion of seeds 
and how what are the agents for the dispersion and how dispersion by wind by water by animals takes place so i'm just going to give an assignment for you so you have to do this assignment you can see here i have depicted the picture here you can see here i asked just example each example for the following like a plant whose seeds are dispersed through animals you have to give an example a plant which grows from stem cuttings you have to give an example for this too and the last one is a plant which produces bar seed to you so you have to give an example for each hope so you are getting all thank you